Le'inyin Sipurei Dvorim Shel Hatzadi Ko'emes Regarding the ordinary small talk of a tzaddik emes, when you have a real tzaddik and he's not speaking words of Torah, he seems to be talking ordinary, regular talk about the news, about the weather, about this. Rabbi Nezal gives a parable to compare this to. Lamashal, for example, Roife Shenechlo. You have a doctor who becomes ill. And now this doctor has to go to a specialist to cure him. The doctor who's the patient now, he thinks he knows what the healing method should be to cure him from this illness. But the big doctor knows things that the little doctor doesn't know. And he knows all kinds of methodologies that the other person never heard of. So too, you can have a person who comes to the rabbi or the tzaddik of the generation, Shehu Roife Choyle Hanafoshos, who is a healer of the soul, Kefima Shehu Yodea, based on how he knows how to cure the soul of a person. Now, a person who's coming to this great tzaddik, he wants the tzaddik to give him healing based on what he understands. He figures he's going to go to this big rabbi and he's going to tell him he has to fast on Monday and Thursday and he can't do this. He has to read the whole Tehillim backwards. He thinks he has an idea as to how the great tzaddik is going to cure him. Avol be'emes ha-tzaddik yeshloi refuois udrochem yeshorim she-tzorech lahanigoi lerfosoi. However, in reality, the great tzaddik knows things that this person doesn't know at all. And he has his own ideas of how to really help this person. Sometimes the healer has to give the patient a certain medicine where if he would give the person the medicine by itself, yomus, the person will die. The medicine is so bitter and it's so powerful that taking that medicine in its raw form would kill the person. Belief Sophic, without any doubt. Alkane, therefore, this medicine has to be mixed with other things. You can't take it by itself. It has to be mixed in with other ingredients to weaken it so that it shouldn't kill the person from its full strength. So too, there are people you cannot reveal to them the secrets of the Torah, the inner part of the Torah, which is what they really need to heal them. That's the medicine, that's the light that they really need to heal their soul. Ki Torah because we know the Torah is a medicine. Kamei Shekosov, as it says in Mishlei chapter 3, Rifus Sharecha, that the Torah will be a healing, a curing for you. Because we know the Gemara tells us that the Torah has two powers, Sam Chaim, the Samoves. The Torah can give life and the Torah can kill. Mazal, as the Gemara says in Yuma, Sam Chaim. If a person is worthy, the Torah becomes a healing medicine. Loi Samoves. Therefore, if the Tzaddik will take this person whose soul is very sick and the tzaddik will feed him Torah in its raw form, yomus, belief suffix, they'll die from it, spiritually or even physically. This person doesn't have the ability to process the Torah in a constructive way. Therefore, the tzaddik has to hide the Torah, he has to cloak the Torah in something lower, something much easier to digest. He has to take secrets of Torah, the premius of Torah, and cover it up with lower level Torah that's much easier for the person to handle. Therefore, the tzaddik has to take deep words of Torah and hide it, conceal it, cover it, in small talk, ordinary talk, where the person thinks that the tzaddik's talking about the weather or the clothing, and, and he doesn't know that the tzaddik has been able to take deep concepts of Torah and hide it in the words that he's talking about. In order for this person to be able to receive the cure that's hidden in those words.